Hello. I thought today I might show you how to do something with some five inch squares and two and a half inch strips and all uh, into a quilt so that maybe you've got some two and a half inch strips or maybe you've got some five inch squares. This particular pattern works the same with both. Um, and the idea would be to cut the strips into five inch lengths or to cut your five and a half inch squares in half so that they make strips that are two and a half inch by five inch and then join them together into rows so that we're making panels to go down down or across a quilt either way. So I've got here a couple of two, uh, five inch squares and so I'm just going to show you that I would just simply cut those in half straight up the middle. So I'm just using my board here. I've set them neatly on the board and I'm just going to come up at two and a half inches which will give me two pieces for each square that are two and a half inches wide and five inches long. Or you could be working from some two and a half inch strips because we all have two and a half inch strips these days, leftovers from something perhaps, or maybe you've got a whole bundle of new ones that you like the look of and you want to work them in together. And so I've cut some strips here that are two and a half inches wide by five inches long. So as I said, it works both with five inch squares or with just the two and a half inch strips as a starting point. I have done a pattern um, which is in amongst my five inch square patterns because I made my original quilt with five inch squares and then I realized that it could have been done with the two and a half inch strips. So it's just called sash squares using five inch squares. Sorry, what is it called? Sash strips. And um, that's on my website, gourmetquilter.com as a quilt pattern. And I'll just show you here, I've made up a small quilt here and I have used the two and a half inch strips and cut the five inch lengths and then stacked them and then pop them together for that one. And then I have made one like I've shown in the pattern here where I did start with the five inch squares and I cut them in half and these have all got a bit of a Japanese flavor to them. So I've kind of uh, used a theme, I suppose, by using the Japanese fabrics. And then my sashing, I have just cut those strips at two inches wide. So they'll finish at one and a half inches. So they're a little bit narrower than your actual little strips are. And I think that sets that off really nicely and then pop a nice border around the edge. And you've got a fairly quick and easy and very appealing quilt using either five inch squares or two and a half inch strips. Thank you.